Hey there, uh, this tutorial is really targeted to my math folks, um, especially those who are trying to use Google Docs and Google Slides to digitize their presentations or make material that's easily shareable and presentable um, over um, Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, one of the struggles as a math teacher is writing and typing equations, graphs uh, for geometry, any of the geometric uh, images that we want to share with kids. Um, so I found a really great tool uh, that's just a simple Chrome extension. Um, I will preface this with uh, I have looked through the digital ecosystem website and found that it, uh, the, this extension Equate IO is approved for use uh, with Fairfax County. Um, so fear not. Um, I've done uh, I've done uh, my due diligence here, and um, this is an a, an approved extension for students to use. Um, students and teachers. Uh, for teachers, it's it's free. Um, so it's called Equate IO. Um, it's really great. Uh, I will leave a a link in the in the description uh, that'll take you to this page to download the extension. Um, or to add the extension to Chrome. Now you do have to use this in Google Chrome. Um, for those of you, uh, when you get to this website, um, after clicking the link in the description, this button here will say add extension. Uh, it says remove for me because I've already added it. So we'll click on that. Um, you'll go through a few prompts. Okay, yes, agree, da 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 da. Uh, and you'll get this button at the top that says uh, Equate IO, uh, and that's our new extension. So let's look at what it can do. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed is uh, in Google Docs, there is in fact an equation editor that you can use, but it is by no means um, as robust as what we're used to using um, on Microsoft Word uh, with math type. Um, it's a little bit fiddly. There aren't a whole lot of options. Um, it's sometimes difficult to find things. So, yeah. Uh, next, if Google Slides is something that you're intending on using, uh, there actually isn't an equation editor under the insert menu at all. So that's where our new add-on comes in. So Equate IO, we'll click on this button, and what that does, it brings up a bar at the bottom and that bar has a lot of features and we're going to look at a few of them some of them aren't going to be as useful to us as the others um, mainly we're going to stick around uh, the, the front of this bar here equation editor I'll show you the latex editor graph editor and, and handwriting recognition um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually in the process of um, creating some <coughs> Uh, presentations for Algebra 2 and I'm using the, the note keys that we've made uh, to pick out a few problems uh, less than what we would typically do in a regular 90-minute class and, and, and I'm putting them in a Google slide presentation which will be easy to share with kids and easy to present through Collaborate. Uh, but this is a lot of math that I have to type um, and that's where Equate.io comes in. So in, in the bar at the bottom, the first button, Equation Editor, lets us write equations. I'm on problem number 8 here, log base 8 of quantity x squared minus 1 minus log base 8 quantity 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. That's a lot of math. Um, but with Equate IO, it's as simple as just typing. When you start typing, Equate IO will um, guess at what your... Ooh, Excuse me, I didn't realize you couldn't see what I was doing. Um, let me go back. This button here is the equation editor. This bar comes up um, when you click on this button. So we're just going to start typing. So I want log base 8. Um, now base 10 is is default and we just have to go back and delete the 8 or excuse me delete the 10 and and, and add an 8 <clears throat> uh, 
uh, and then continue on the way. So we wanted the quantity of x squared, and I just used the shift 6 or the caret to write exponents. Minus 1, minus log. Again, we want log with a base, uh, and by default it's 10, but we'll change it to 8. Uh, 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. Now, I've got my math written. I need it in my presentation. Insert math. We click that. Creates this image of the math that I just typed. I can move it around. I can put it wherever I want. I can resize it if I want to. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm good to go. And I can, you know, delete this and write the next step. Um, Uh, you know, write the next step in my solution here. So log, you know, log base eight, um, and then I want uh, I want a fraction. So it's going to be x squared minus one um, divided by what I did there was just highlight what I wanted to be on top, and then I hit the fraction bar, um, you know, on my keyboard, uh, the forward slash. Uh, 3x plus 9 is uh, is equal to 0. And, you know, we'll, you, I'll finish up my work on my own. You don't need to see me do what I'm, uh, do what I'm doing. Uh, you get the picture. And so I can, you know, write my steps out that way and um, adjust my slide presentation to bring these up one at a time, maybe in a different tutorial. But for now, I want to look at a few of these other features. Now, if you're familiar with LaTeX, um, LaTeX is a language that you can use to write math. Um, this program, this app lets you, uh, this extension lets you use LaTeX and it will convert it into math. So if you're more familiar with LaTeX, you can do that. Um, the other great thing is you can, you can um, insert graphs. So for those of us who, um, you know, are looking to insert uh, graphs into our presentations. Um, you know, there we go. <clears throat> um, and then we can even, I mean, it's just Desmos. So I can do whatever I need to do. I can put in, um, you know, I want to show my... Uh, I'll show my vertical asymptote, or excuse me, my horizontal asymptote. I can do that, and you know, anything I anything I would do in um, in Desmos normally, I can do here, uh, and then I can just insert that graph, and now I've got a graph in my presentation for whatever it is you know I, I need. So really great tool there. Um, the handwriting recognition, it's kind of cool. You know, if you're using your laptop or a computer, it's not really necessary. Uh, but, you know, maybe if you're uh, doing something on your tablet, that's great. And, and you can then again insert that equation. It comes up as a picture. And again, you can do whatever you want. Once you have that picture in there, you can make it bigger or smaller or whatever. There's just a way, uh, just a way to get, you know, math into your, into your Google Docs. Um, there's a speech input, but I don't think it's super useful. And, and then some of these other features, um, the math space, it's a interesting tool, but I, I believe on the student end, it requires a paid subscription. And so we're going to stay away from that. Um, the screenshot reader is actually pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you would use it for, but it, it'll read you back. Uh, what you wrote. The log base 8 of open paren x squared minus 1 close paren minus the log base 8 of open paren 3x plus 9 close paren equals 0. Sweet. <laughs> you know, if you can find a use for that, that's awesome. Um, so, yeah. Uh, equate IO, I think great tool for teachers to use to um, to get math into their presentations um, especially using Google Docs um, 
It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I think it's just as robust a system as math type. And for somebody who uh, is, is trying to use a lot more Google Docs um, or Google Slides or presentations on Google, uh, this is going to be uh, a really, really great tool um, for those people. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was useful. Um, and take it easy and stay healthy.